we, we got to give the woman of God a hand for that sermon. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. 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 Before we get too far from what the woman of God preached today, the Lord using her, Jesus using her to manifest himself in the hurt. Let me, let me make one thing clear. Everything you heard today, and you testify with your mouth that it's the truth, you have to live in that truth. Yes, Lord. You can't say that, oh, I didn't know, because you do know. Because you do know. So therefore, we want to say, well, I made a mistake knowing the truth, knowing I heard it, but I'm justified by it. You are not. Mm -hmm. The Lord will make it very clear for us that know the truth of God. We don't, we can't play with this. We got to be, this is something serious. Mm -hmm. We have to live by it. Yes, Lord. Because the day that you guys slip, and the Lord will require us to ask us what happened to your soul. He will be justified to say, on this day, you did tell them the truth. Yes. Whether they went to their faith or not. So everything that the woman of God, the man of God, the people of God, the people that was chosen in the New Faith Church of God, put out front the things of God. Yes, Lord. Which is uh, foolishness to man, mm -hmm. but righteousness to God yes. Amen. will be tested. And justified. Amen? Amen. I want to make it clear. Everybody go to Hebrews. Before we leave the woman of God's work, we need to know this. What? And I know y'all know it. Y'all probably know where the Reverend going at. Chapter 10, verse 26. Many yes. people think Amen. they can run from yes, God. Lord. Many people think that, oh yeah, I heard the truth, but I'm not justified by the truth. I want to live it. I can just run back to God and say I'm sorry. Hmm. And do it over and over and over and over. The Lord knows. He's very, very, I mean, <laughs> I don't think anybody can be as crafty as God. You, oh, there ain't man. no way. It's impossible. Mm -mm. So, and everybody, we're going to read it. When everybody get to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26, we all going to read it together. Amen. And New Faith members should know this word because the Reverend touched on this a lot. Amen. Because we have to be responsible for what we do. And let me tell you something, even down to the kids, if them kids got enough common sense to know when to eat and when to sleep and when to use the bathroom, they got enough common sense to know the word of God. Come on. Amen. They have enough common sense to know yes. right and wrong. Yes. It's impossible right. to come in here as a child right. and, and, and be ruckus and cause problems knowing you know the truth. Amen. You have to know the word. Your mama or your daddy is not responsible for your soul. Once you have enough common sense to understand that you've been fed that word, you are responsible for yourself. You cannot blame mommy and daddy. Nope. I'm talking about your earthly mothers and daddy. You can't blame them because you have the power to know the word. So when you leave this world and you have an accident and something happens to you and you go to hell, you can't say my mother didn't teach me. You had enough common sense to come into church with your mother and know the truth. You know that. You know when you got to use the bathroom, you go use it. You know, when you're hungry, you ask mom to give me something to eat. Mm -hmm. But when it's time to know the word of God, we're going to play around Listen. and act silly. Listen. No, we got to know. I don't care how old you are. Once you get enough common sense to know right from wrong, you know the word of God. Amen? Amen. Yes. All right, we're going to go to uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Everybody ready? Amen. Yes. Read. For, For if we, we sin willfully after, after we have received, received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. There it is right there. It says it right there. There's no way. There's no way. We, we have to see. Many people think they can weasel. And this is what the woman of God talked about. That you must have a relationship with God to know the word. To know his truth. To know his law. Because if we just go to church. We say, well, I've been to church all day. I'm this. I'm not. I'm this. But see, what they do is they put it in face and throw it to you and say, this is what I want you to do. This how, it's got to be chosen from God. You are not a, a prayer warrior unless God says you are. Amen. You're not a deacon unless he says, give them that chance, Reverend White. Let them be a deacon. But first test them yes. to make sure they are who they say they are. Yes. Then give it to them. Amen. See, this is what we, we, we sometimes we get filled up yeah. in ourselves 
and we're not working according to God. Yes, Lord. And if we're not working according to God, then we're working up at God's adversary, which yes. is the devil. And trust me, they're not equal. He is there for a reason. Yes. He's there because God put him there. Amen. He's there because God knows that his spirit that he didn't gave you. Let's, 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 let's do this. Where I'm going to go. Amen. This is how we break this down. The spirit of life gives you life here to breathe in and out. That's one spirit. When that body dies, that spirit goes back to God. That's the spirit of life. Then, this, which is the woman of God explained to y'all, which is the body, goes back to the dirt. It goes back, turns into dust. But then you have your soul. That is what we have to worry about, the soul. And if you are not right with God, you are not square with God, the soul remains in hell until judgment day. That don't mean you will be judged at that point. You already condemned. You just waiting to go to your next hell. Man. Thank you, Lord. So I want to just make sure we got that correct. And we was very clear. The woman of God did an excellent job on that. Yes, Lord. And I wanted to make sure I wrapped it up with Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Because many times we think we can weasel out of the, the, the righteousness of God. But God says right in his word, I'm sorry. And we worked on this for a couple weeks, y'all. Amen. We worked on this. It shouldn't be no problem. Let's, let's go to 27 while we're in here. Let's do 1027. Y'all ready? Amen. Read. But, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment, a fiery indignation which will devour the adversary. So your guilt and you will do you in. Because why? You know 26, which is what? The truth. Amen. The truth is what will destroy you. Because you knew the truth, but you still stepped out of the boundaries. So therefore, the Lord says, you know Jesus Christ for you. It's the same way the woman God preached a couple weeks, a couple, maybe a week ago or so, she preached about uh. Uh, God don't hear sinners. Amen. You know, nobody want to come confess. They don't realize, hey, you got to go to a body. You can't go to some hole somewhere and think you can confess your sins where nobody, you got to go to your pastors. This is why God created the church. He created the church to save your soul. The church is the body of God. He said, I'm going to put pastors, prophets, and people to guide you through. So when you have problems, you will not have to be ashamed because they have already gone through what you are going through. They have already gone through it. So when you go talk to them, they will have the keys to be able to help you through it. If it's something wrong in your life, something you have done, you have to go confess these things and repent in the sight of God. That pastor, that minister, whoever that is at that time, that body will be manifested in the Christ so you can receive what is wrong with you. That, that body will receive the guilt. The body will take it up. Because at that time, it's Jesus taking it from you. Mm -hmm. And you putting that burden on him. And he can carry it because he carried it to the cross. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus can take it. Yes, Lord. We can't take it, but Jesus can. Amen. See, you can't separate Jesus from the body and think the body can do it alone because it cannot. The only thing that body can receive without Jesus is hell. That's it. Amen. It's got to have Jesus to fulfill it. Amen. It's got to have Jesus to take it the next step. Amen. So when you are hurting in the inside, there's something you did wrong, there's something not right in you, you have to go to your pastors and confess these things out so they can be either lifted from you. Yes, then you'll be free. Yes, and I want to tell y'all today, get y'all, y'all get a woman of God another hand for the word today. Amen. 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 I love the word of God. I live for it. I live by it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If the Reverend get out of get out of whack sometime, trust me, I know how to get back in whack and I know how far to go. Amen. 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 We have to know. We have to know. So what we're we gonna do a little work this morning and go into first Timothy. I call it a message from God. First Timothy chapter three. Verse fourteen. You know, I think about the times that we have had an opportunity to receive the things of God 
But what we have done is we have missed a day. We have missed a day in church. We have missed a day in the Word. And this is why I love New Faith Church of God, because any sermon that's preached on a particular day, you normally can go to the website, www.nfchurch.org, and you can go type in what that date was or what that message was that day, and you can feed a little bit of off that. You will get a piece of it. Because what happens is every day you miss, you can't sharpen your sword. So one Sunday you missed church or you missed on a Friday night, that's the day you missed chopping your sword, like the woman of God said. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, the sword is the, your sword is missed. So you got a spot in it, it ain't going to be as sharp as everything else because you missed that day. Mm -hmm. You cannot sharpen that if you have missed it. Yeah. It's gone. Anytime you serve in the house of the Lord, that one day to you is one day to God, it's a thousand. So every day you miss, you remember, you miss one day, no, you missed a thousand. You know, so this is why we must put it, and we think we can do it on our own, and we can't. We need the body of Christ. We need God. We got to have him in our life. Because if we think we can hide in a spot or hide from God somewhere, and we think it's going to be done that way, you're going to come up short and find yourself. When our body gets separated, it ain't going to be what you, you ain't going to be meeting Jesus. You're going to be meeting him. Them angels that's going to take you to hell. That's who you're going to meet. You're not going to meet the most high God. And these are things that y'all have to be responsible for in yourself. Because me and the woman of God are going to do that job. We're going to be available for you. When you hurt, we're going to be there for you. When you need to confess, we're going to be there for you. We will make time. We will never tell you. This, this church, I don't care how huge you get. It will never come up to the point where you need to see the man or woman of God. And we're going to be too busy. We're going to make time. If we in South Africa and y'all got a serious issue, we're going to deal with it either over the net or the phone or we're going to fly back and deal with you mm -hmm. so you can be saved. Because we don't know if God will come collect you five minutes from that. We want you to be saved and be able to make it. Amen? Amen. So everybody will go to 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it's a message from God and we want to make sure we open our ears up. Mm -hmm. And many of us have been here before. We're going to go over it again. We want to listen to the examples of God. Amen. Amen. These things I write to you. Though I hope to come to you shortly. The Lord says. In 15 he says. But if I am delayed. I write so that you may know. How you ought to conduct yourself. In the house of God. Amen. Amen. This is very important. This is the Lord telling us. Hey. How will you be seen in the face of God in any given time? How will you be seen? You will be seen how? Through the body of Christ, through the church. That's how you're going to be seen. Your good works has got to spread out in the ministry. You have to be a part of the columns to be able to uphold the structure. It might be the first floor. It might be the second floor. It might be the third floor. But your name has got to be written in some manifestation of Christ. How is it done? He said the body. The body of Christ is the foundation of the church. Amen? Amen? Amen. The Lord says, but if I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God. Yes. Which is the church of the who? The living God. The church of the who? The living God. So you think you're going to get it done at home and it ain't going to happen. I'm sorry, it ain't going to happen. You're going to get to the point where it's time for you to go visit God and you're the first thing you're going to say, man, why didn't I see, oh, what's going on? Why am I going this way? Why, Jesus ain't meet me. Who's these people? Well, apparently something went wrong. You were serving church at home and you thought you could get it done. The people God appointed you to teach you and show you right from wrong, you didn't want them because you was too ashamed or embarrassed Remember, you're not going to meet your, the, the, the flesh, the people you see in the flesh. You're going to meet God. But the only way the Spirit is going to be able to work with you is through a what? A body. It's got to be a what? A body. There's no way the Spirit is going to come to you. The Word won't even work. God said the Word became what? Flesh. The Word became what? Flesh. The Word became what? Flesh. Flesh. And then this Word is going to tell you even about God. Jehovah. How did he, what he, he became what? Flesh. See, even if we work through the Spirit of God, 
with all graciousness. And we think, well, you know what? We can just sit down and receive spirit. Let me tell you something. When God wants to send you a message, it won't be God. It won't be misunderstood. It won't be all cranked up. It's going to be very, very clear. It's going to come from a body. Somebody that God knows that will deliver his message. And they won't hold back on you. And they're going to do exactly what he said. If you don't even have to sacrifice your life, he know you will do it. Come on. For your flock, you will sacrifice. You have already given. When you become a pastor or a woman of God, no, don't trust me. Many people, trust me this. Trust me on this. Many people think that that is the highest place you can get in the church. That is one job. The doorkeeper, just as, as, as great as the pastor up there doing. The difference is, is they're the ones going to be responsible for your life. Yes. Amen. That's why God said, some of you, hey, hey, don't be. Even when you're chosen. Because you won't be able to stand in a hard time. You have to, got to be able to give your life for somebody else. Ooh, that's deep. You got to be able to give your life. You got to be able to sacrifice for people that, that Jesus did. Hallelujah. He's looking for you to do the same thing. Yes. Oh, so man. We got to, we got to awesome. know that everything about God is pure. Ooh. Righteousness. Mm. Love. Ooh. And love will cause you to what? Give your Ooh. life. So see, every section, no matter what you are in the church, what, what, which officer you might be, you are responsible for your work. You are responsible for God for that. Amen. Amen. Well, now put more on you than what you can take. Amen? Yes. Amen. The Lord said, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth? And without what, y'all? Controversy. Controversy. Great in the uh -huh. of the what? Of Godliness. We're going to go over that again. I want everybody to do 16. Ready? Read. And without controversy, great is the mystery of Godliness. Awesome word for us to be able to keep these things where we need to have them at. Great, 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 awesome words of God to be able to help us in a light ass self to keep us intact with Jesus Christ. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen. I love my God. L listen to this. Y'all gonna love this. God was manifested in the what? Flesh. Flesh. God was manifested in the what? Flesh. Flesh. God was manifested in the what? Flesh. Flesh. Nobody cannot tell you Amen. that God was not manifested in the flesh. Praise he says God. it in his word, right? Yes, yes Lord. God is the Word. Word. The word is God. God, God is the word. The word is God. Amen. God was manifested in the what? Flesh. <laughs> Justified in the what? Spirit. Spirit. Justified in the what? Spirit. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Seen by what? Angels. Angels. Seen by what? Angels. Angels. Preached among the what? Gentiles. Gentiles. Believed on the who? On the who? The world. world. Received up in what? Glory. Glory. Yes, Lord. So don't ever let people come and tell you that Jesus Christ ain't Jehovah John. He's got it all in his word. And if you can't receive it because you don't believe it, means God has not given you the fruit to believe of it. Amen. Because God said, I have raised everybody up for a job. Pharaoh yes. was raised up to do his job, what he did. He went to hell for it, but that's why God raised him up. Many people don't know that's where Pharaoh left. Him, his horsemen, his carriage, and everything he had is down there. You got the, the, the demons down there sitting on them back, chilling. You know, they hanging out down there, waiting for y'all souls to come down there so they can whoop you. Whap, whap. But well, that's where the cheers at. The trees and all that stuff right down there. God said the ground opened up and swallowed it all up. Took it all down there. Everything he had. That day when he went down, his stuff went down with him. Mm. No, we got to be very, very careful. We got to know who God is. And don't let nobody dictate and tell you that Jesus Christ ain't Jehovah himself. God is yes. alive. I'm yes. telling you, he is the it. Yes. He is the final set. Yes. Yes. The living God. Yes. yes. Your keeper. Yes. Your Lord. Yes. yes. Your worshiper. Yes. 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 yes, that's him. Yes. And most of all, your Savior. Yes. 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 Amen. Mm. Savior. I love my God. Talking about justified, yeah. justified. Now the rough things is, is we can be visual of these things right here, and I want us to listen very carefully to these things because 